They said it's impossible to create a web app with interface and haul internal architecture in less than 10 minutes. To what I say, haul my orange juice. With AI, everything is possible, right? Such web apps are a great way to establish a proper online presence for yourself and your business. A unique website is what people see even before placing an order or calling you. And if that's also a useful website and it solves a problem, that's a double victory. In this video, I will show you how I create fully fledged web apps in a few minutes with AI. If you already have the idea, here's how to get it online in minutes. So I've been messing around with Hostinger Horizons lately, and honestly, it's been way smoother than what I used to deal with when building web apps the old school way. Now imagine you're just a regular person who wants to build a web app. What's the first thing you'd probably do? You would open ChatGPT, right? Type in something like, uh, how do I create a web app? Go. Cool, let's try that. And boom, ChatGPT hits you with this massive list. Front end, back end, dev server, database, hosting, security, like a full checklist of things you didn't even know existed five minutes ago. And all of it needs to somehow work together perfectly. No bugs, no errors, no security holes. That's a lot, but okay, maybe you are determined. You're like, all right, I'll push through this. Maybe at least you can get some help with the design. You've seen the image generation stuff in GBT 4.0, pretty wild, right? So you try generating the UI with a prompt and yeah, gives you one static image, no interactivity, weird proportions, looks like something from a 2005 website. Sure, if you are a prompt wizard, you might get a better result, most people, they'll just type in a normal sentence and get, well, something like this. Now, here's where Hostinger Horizon starts pulling ahead. If you get stuck anywhere, there's actual human support, like 24-7 real people you can talk to, and not just English. They've got multilingual support too, so you're not stuck Googling answers at 2 a.m. anymore. Let's say you somehow power through and manage to get a few interfaces you'll like after endless back and forth. Now what? You need to connect it all with a HTML, CSS, maybe a backend system, and yes, ChatGPT can code, but let's be real, a lot of times it gives you stuff that just doesn't work out of the box. Like, look at this. I asked ChatGPT to build a simple web app. The code it gave me looks super short and kind of sus. I'm not even a developer, but I can tell it's missing half the stuff it needs. So now you're wasting days trying to debug, patch things up, find a server, set up deployment, fix more bugs, secure it, and on and on and on. That's not it. That's not how you should be building things in 2025. Yeah, sure, you could just hire a developer to do it, but unless you are hiring a senior dev, you might end up with more problems than solutions. And senior devs, they are expensive, like really expensive. When I was building our AI master site, AIMaster.me, I was shocked at how much people were charging for even the simplest stuff. I did find a workaround in the end, but that's a story for another day. Here's the real point. There is a better way now, simpler, more direct way. I'm using hosting or horizons for this, and guess what? All it takes is one solid prompt. That's it. Of course, your prompt still has to be detailed, context, what you want, what you need the app to do, how it should look, everything. Think of it like ordering a fancy restaurant. The more specific you are, the better the result. So let's say you want to create a web app for apartment registration, something a landlord could use to manage rentals. Sounds kind of complex, right? It is. My prompt ended up being a bit long, but I'll walk you through it step by step. And if you want good results, you should structure your prompts the same way. So here's what I typed into Hosting and Horizons to kick things off. Create a simple but beautiful and well-designed apartment registration system. That's it. Short, clear, to the point. This one line already tells the AI what I want and how it should look. Clean, design, smart UX. And by the way, those first few lines in your prompt, super important. It's like uh, giving your GPS the destination before the road trip. If you mess that up, the rest won't matter. But if you want something that's not just meh, but actually great, you've got to go deeper. So here's my strategy. I start describing the app piece by piece, the little building blocks, like what fields should be on the form, what kind of data should users enter, how should the interface behave, all the tiny things that make an app feel polished. Then I move to functionality. Basic stuff first, login and sign up, 
it's simple and almost every app needs it. Then I add roles like landlords and tenants so they see different features depending on who's logged in. Add a couple of notes on how data should be handled and boom, the core of my prompt is done. Now, if I wanted to go extra fancy, I could upload a sketch or voice record my ideas. It supports that too. But honestly, my type prompt works just fine. So I hit create and now we wait just a couple minutes. What's really cool is that on the left, you can literally see the AI thinking. It's like watching the logs of what's going on behind the scenes and you can make edits directly through the chat later, which is super convenient. Now, sometimes during the build process, you might see some scary red error messages pop up. Don't freak out, just click ask to fix and the AI patches it up like magic. Usually takes 15 seconds tops. Fast forward a few minutes and Boom, here it is, my web app. And I'm telling you, it actually looks legit. Like professional, professional. The layout is clean, everything's aligned, no weird overlapping or broken buttons. There's even a brand name the AI came up with, a nice banner up top, a button, property listings, and everything's clickable. Log in and sign up, flawless, no lag, no bugs. And if anything does break, like let's say the explore button, frozen error, no problem hit fix and hostingers got your back in seconds. But let's say I want to tweak it. Like maybe it's missing something. No big deal. I just go to the prompt window and type something like, can you add a section to the website with reviews from happy tenants? And another one with rules and requirements for renters. Click enter, wait a bit, done. Now I've got a full review section, all AI generated. And I get it, fake reviews aren't great, but for design purposes, works like a charm. Just to see how it fits visually. And here's the role section too. Hostinger even picked a layout and format and style on its own. I didn't give it any design instructions, but it just kind of knew what I meant. It's wild. Only thing left now, I want a separate tab, kind of a questionnaire, where potential tenants can answer a few questions and see if they even qualify, like, let pre-screen quiz. So I just type, can you add a tab to the app with an option for tenants to complete a test whether they qualify for a rent? Add a couple clarifying lines and let it run. One minute later, there it is, a new tab with a proper questionnaire and not just boring yes, no questions. Some have drop downs, some are free text. Everything actually makes sense. I go ahead and fill it out takes a few seconds, hit calculate, and boom, I qualify. <laughs> Guess I'd make a decent tenant. So yeah, that's my web app, built from scratch in about five minutes, with tweaks, fully functional, looks great on desktop, looks great on mobile, minimal, clean, user-friendly. Honestly, this used to be a multi-week project with designers, developers, meetings, revision, and now it's a one prompt job. And that's what I love most about hosting a Horizons. It just works. Like I don't need to be a designer to make something that looks clean and modern. I don't need to know how to code or write JavaScript or mess with databases. It just works out of the box and it's super customizable. Every little tweak, every small change, all you need is one prompt. Want to change the color of a button, add a new section, remove something, just ask and boom, done. Now you might ask, but Arthur, what about hosting? Where do I put the app once it's ready? Easy, you just click publish, that's it. Your app goes live instantly on hosting or servers. You can even pick a custom domain right there, like yourname.com or whatever you want. If the name's taken, hosting will let you know and you can just pick another smooth, no hassle. If you've got any images you want to use on your site, like maybe your logo, property photos, or custom icons, just click the little image button from earlier and upload them. Then in your prompt, make sure to say something like, use the uploaded image as a banner or include my logo in the top left. That way the AI knows exactly what to do with it. Now, when it comes to writing prompts, keep it simple and clear. Don't overload it with tens of layers of instructions. Just say what you want directly. Be realistic. If you're asking for some kind of 3D animated dragon flying across your homepage, yeah, that's not happening here. But if you want something clean, professional and reliable that's ready in minutes, Hostinger is perfect for that. When you get it right, people will think you hired a fancy web agency or something. Like, did Apple design this for you? No, just you and one solid prompt. And one last thing I really appreciate, everything is in one place. Hosting, check, domains, yep. Email included. 
all managed from a single dashboard. No more logging into five different platforms just to update your website. So if you want to give it a shot, start your free trial with Hostinger Horizons today. Use my code to get 10% off your first month. And yeah, there is even a 30 day money back guarantee. So if it's not your thing, no stress, zero risk. Just jump in and build something awesome.